Roger Barr is an American car racer and mechanic, best known for appearing in Velocity's documentary series Chasing Classic Cars with Wayne Carini. Being a veteran racer himself, the 84-year-old mechanic specializes in motorsports cars from the 60s and 70s, among others. Roger disappeared from the show during the 13th season in 2017, leaving his fans worried. Though Roger has been actively involved in car shops since, his fans are still curious about what he has been up to nowadays. Today we bring you a video showing what Roger Barr is doing in 2020. The Early Life of Roger Barr and Military Career Roger Barr was born on January 15, 1936 and grew up in Staten Island. Roger was a car fanatic from the early days. He used to play at his neighbor's garages. As a kid, he dreamt of being an aviation mechanic. Roger graduated in 1953 with his A&E license. While he was stationed in Germany during the 50s, he worked as a mechanic for the United States Air Force. There, he worked on planes and was introduced to sports car racing. He served as a backup driver for big-time club racing teams. In those enduro races, he used to race when the top driver's car broke down. When he returned home, he worked in different shops and eventually opened the Foreign Car Shop in Glastonbury, Connecticut. Later, he taught engineering students at Brown and University of Hartford for five years each. Racing career of Roger Barr. Roger started racing in his mid-twenties. In 1964, he participated in SCCA National Championship Runoffs Formula V, where he came second. He also participated in other races like Trans Am TA, 1966 and 67, Formula A Continental Championship, 1968, US Formula A F5000 Championship 1969 and SCCA National Championship Runoffs Formula F 1970. Roger's friendship with Wayne Carini and chasing classic cars. Among Roger's many customers in the 60s, his most frequent was Wayne Carini's father, Bob Carini. This was when young Wayne Carini met with Roger. Wayne Carini wrote in one of his blogs, I first met Roger when I was about 10 years old. We lived in Glastonbury, Connecticut, where my father ran a body shop and Roger ran the local foreign car repair shop. If dad was fixing an imported car that needed mechanical work, he'd take it to Roger. And if a car at Roger's shop needed body repairs, it would always end up at dad's. That shop of Roger's was in the center of town, not far from the high school. Sometimes I'd even swing by there to look at the cars before school. Early one morning, the door was unlocked, so I went looking for Roger. Eventually, I saw his legs on a creeper sticking out from under a car. He'd been working late and he'd fallen asleep beneath it. In 2008, Wayne Carini approached Roger Barr to work on his show Chasing Classic Cars, and Roger accepted. Roger was a series regular, having appeared in 43 episodes. Wayne Carini himself hosts the season 15 of the Chasing Classic Cars. Roger Barr's health issues. In 2017, he was absent from the show for some time, which left many fans worried. He later announced that he was suffering from illness and knee pain. Back in August 2017, he was hospitalized due to infections on his leg. He recovered and resumed his work sometime later in November. After a few months, he had an accident while working at F40 Motorsports, which again led him to the hospital bed. In 2019, he posted on his Facebook account that he was receiving psychiatric help as well. What is Roger Barr doing now? Roger Barr currently resides in New England with his wife, Sally Barr. The 84-year-old mechanic is still working in his shop. On June 8, 2020, he announced on his Facebook account that he will be working in a car restoration shop, The Paddock, in Connecticut from now on. Should Roger Barr return to chasing classic cars? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.